Hey there guys, today I'm going to do a water test. I'm going to test these two bottles of water with this glass cup and I'm going to test it against my tap water and my RO system that I installed last month. I'll be using this TDS water tester here. This is a simple particle water tester. It just tests the amount of particles that are in your water. The more particles there are, the higher the number that will be displayed on the screen here. These are fairly inexpensive and I'll have a link to this particular one in the description of this video if you guys are interested. All right, I'm going to start off by filling some water in this cup and rinsing it out. And I am only going to test the cold water. And here's the cup of water I'll be testing. Let's go ahead and turn this tester on real quick. And it's on. It's ready to test. As you guys can see, my water is testing at 185. All right, next up, I'll be testing my RO filter. Here it is right here. I have installed it underneath my sink and actually I made a video about installing this RO filter about a month ago. I'll have a link to that video as well in the description of this video. Similarly to how we tested the uh, tap water through this faucet, here's the faucet for my RO filtered water. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, let it run for a little bit and then I'm going to rinse this cup out. I think that's sufficiently rinsed. I'm gonna go ahead and test this water here now. Again, this is cold water. And we got the test result. Let me go ahead and bring that closer for you guys. There it is. So we are testing at 22 ppm for the filtered RO water. Next up, we're gonna test these two bottles of water. This is a Kirkland water. This is mainly bought from Costco. And here's the popular Fiji water as well. Let's start with the Kirkland water first. I'm gonna go in and pour a little bit into the cup and rinse the cup with it. Do a little bit more. All right, here's the testing water. Let's go ahead and test it. And the test result is 24 ppm. All right, let's dump this water out and test the Fiji one next. Gonna go ahead and rinse the cup first. Let's do another rinsing as well. All right, now let's go ahead and test it. Fiji water tests, 176. Now, you might be alarmed as to the number we just received here. 176 is very high. I'm not at all surprised that the Fiji water got such a high TDS count. Uh, we cannot really use this test for this bottle of water here because the Fiji water is actually not a filtered water, at least not filtered by an RO system. This water is naturally occurring. It even says so on the bottle itself. It says, in Fiji, rain falls slowly filtered through the volcanic rock, adding the vital minerals that give Fiji water its unique and refreshing taste. So basically, 
it just gets filtered through the volcanic rock and that is how it receives its minerals and so forth and its taste and so this isn't exactly water that's been fully filtered like like this Kirkland purified water has been or the RO system in the kitchen I have here so we're gonna have to discard the test for this bottle of water well guys thanks for watching I did get the answer I was seeking out of this test and that answer is that the water filter RO system that I have installed in my kitchen sink is actually as clean as this bottle of water here. They're both purified to around the same amount and I am very glad that we are receiving such a low TDS count on both those systems and I am very glad about that. I've been using that water RO for about 30 days or about a month now and it's producing very clean water. In any case, thank you guys for watching. If you guys are interested in this water tester or the RO system, I'll have that linked below. I'll also have a link to the video where I installed the RO water system so you guys can see what it takes to install one of those in your kitchen. And thank you for watching.